so good to see you. Two years, two playoff appearances. I hope we do this every year. That would be that would be the goal. Does it feel any different going into the playoffs for a second time, Jeffrey? For sure, you know, go, going in this year, you know, we don't have a different team. Uh, I think, especially this year, that we know that we have a great team this year, and you know, the mindset going into this playoff is different this year. And I feel like just the vibe different around the building, the vibe on the team, you know, especially with the coaches and from the players, you know, I think. I just like this past weekend, you know, no one was satisfied with what we've done. You know, it wasn't good enough for us. You know, I think we want more as an organization. That's a Super Bowl. That's where I'll go there this year. Were you pretty surprised or were you pretty pleased with what you were able to do in the regular season? To be honest, you know, I, to me, I didn't live up to my expectation this year. And, you know, but, you know, kind of one of the things that don't matter at this point, you know, because right now it's a new season for us. Um, you know, I'm kind of just focused on how can I do more this this season here, and that's the playoff. And, and now, you know, I have one more goal, and that's to win the Super Bowl here. So. Every opponent knows Jeffrey Simmons now. You are double teamed constantly. How do you avoid frustration with that? You know, it's hard, um, but my thing is, you know, if I'm getting double, you know, my linebacks are coming up, they're going to make the play, or you know, I got a guy like Daquan, Jack Crawford, you know, even on the edge with Harry and them. Guys like that, they eat one-on-one. -on -one, and I'm I'm real confident in them guys, they don't make a play. And, you know, it's one of the things now, this first round of the playoff. And um, if I'm not used to it by now, you know, it's just one of the things you're not going to get used to. It. But I can't say I'm kind of used to it now. And, you know, whatever helped this team win, I'm all for it. I want you to tell me about the pregame huddles. I've never seen a second-year player who rallies the team in a pregame huddle. I've never seen it before. I've been in this league for over 20 years. How did that start, and what are you trying to do when you're pumping up those guys? So, you know, we have a lot of older guys on this team. We have captains, we have four captains that, you know, I respect to the fullest. Them guys who let me go in that huddle before the game, you know. I like to get everybody going, you know. That's kind of one of the things that gets your blood going, you know, right before the, you know, the game or right before, you, you know, go out there for warm up. Right there. It seems like a lifetime ago, but it was actually just over 20 months ago that we met you in person for the first time the day after you were drafted. We brought you in in front of hundreds of season ticket members, and you promised that there would be moments like this and that you would be a part of it. I'm going to make this promise to you guys today. I would not let you guys down. I promise. I would make it. I would help this team win the Super Bowl. That's my promise to you guys. It's got to be a special feeling for what has happened the last 20 months for Jeffrey Simmons and the Tennessee Titans and Titans fans. Yeah, I mean, like I said, the job not done yet. And, and you know, like I said, I have one more go. You know, I don't want an opportunity to pass us by. It's about getting to the Super Bowl and winning for Nashville. And you know, I'm excited for um, our opportunity to compete for this uh, first round of the playoff and to get to the next one and so we can get to the Super Bowl. Jeffrey, good luck against Baltimore this weekend and thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Talking about